Hi, and welcome to Blue's Garden. This is a meatloaf and meatballs recipe with a really healthy kick. First, instead of making it mostly out of ground beef and pork and veal, I'm going to use half ground turkey, so a pound of ground turkey, and a pound of a mixed veal pork beef mix. The ground turkey is much leaner. Now I'm going to add in some breadcrumbs, my dried oregano. I have a mix that I made of parsley, thyme, and basil, my dehydrated onion. I'm going to use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, some ketchup, and some grated Parmesan cheese. First up, I take about half a pound of the ground turkey and about half of the one pound beef pork veal mix, and I split a large egg over that. I'll add in the breadcrumbs, all of the spices. I will put in my dehydrated onion, the Worcestershire, some of the ketchup, the garlic powder, and the grated parm. So about half of everything. And then off we go, mix up that first half. After you mix the first half, add in the rest of all the meat. Add in more of the breadcrumbs and spices, ketchup, garlic, Worcestershire, and grated cheese. Um, mix again thoroughly. You want a really consistent mix. You don't want a little bit beef, a little bit veal, a little bit pork here, there, everywhere. You want to get the ground turkey and the other three meats all mixed together and make sure you've got your ketchup, uh, grated parm, and breadcrumbs. Then, for me, I fill up a small meatloaf tray. I'm going to cook this up and end up freezing it. Then in the middle of the meatloaf tray, I am going to make a little indent. This is more of an aesthetic thing. Uh, and run a little bead of the ketchup down the middle. Then on top, some breadcrumbs and grated parm over the top. That just gives it a nice little uh, finish when you finish cooking. I will grease up a tray. I use a spray, cooking spray, cooking oil spray. Uh, then I will make three large meatballs. Those are actually going to be for a lunch coming up soon. And then all of the rest of the meat I will roll take a good handful and make um, whatever's left. In this case, it turned out to be nine smaller meatballs. Um, get them all nice and rolled up. Uh, make sure, that, again, that you don't, you don't want them one kind of meat. You want that to have been thoroughly mixed. So then in we go to an oven, 400 degrees. The meatballs are going to go in for about 40 minutes, four zero minutes, and then the um, meatloaf will go in for about 50, five zero minutes. Um, after they're done, everything out, plate it up. There you have it, a healthier alternative to the typical ground beef, ground pork, ground veal. I'd love it if you could share this recipe around if you enjoyed it. Uh, it really helps my YouTube channel. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blue's Garden Tips.